Hey guys, in this video we're hanging out with Stuart Edge, Devin Graham, and we're going to be teaching you how to take ordinary materials and turn them into nunchucks. Just dive right in. Okay, so right now, Devin Graham and I are at the Home Depot. We're picking up some materials. The materials for this are super, super basic. A piece of wood, a little bit of chain, some electrical tape, and some eye bolts, which we have right over here. All right, to start off making your pair of nunchucks, we need sticks that are nine inches long. So nine inches. Take your dowel, mark them off in nine inch segments, and cut as many of them as you can. So we actually got five different nine inch sticks out of this. That means it will make two and a half pair of nunchucks. If you're doing this, always wear safety eye protection. You now, sign the waiver, right? Never sign a waiver when you're working with Grant. <laughs> so come down, make sure it lines up, just like that. Push backwards. I was holding my breath, guys. Now, if you cut them right, they should be pretty much level. These ones are level, these ones are level. That's our two pair of nunchucks right there. One for Stuart, one for Devin. You don't have to worry too much if you got nicks and dents in the rod because we're gonna cover it up with electrical tape. Put your electrical tape at a little bit of an angle just so that as you turn the dowel, it overlaps the piece before it. You wanna get maybe like a eighth to quarter inch overlap like that. So now if you get somebody to spin your dowel, you can essentially just hold your roll of tape and it will feed itself. But we want to make Grant proud, so we are going to do our best. The key here is just to keep the spacing about as even as you can. You can see I'm overlapping about half the tape. We could go probably a little bit more. I, the further I push away, the more Stuart turns. <laughs> this is getting awkward. If you don't have a friend to help you, if you use an extra dowel, you can actually make it an easier wrap around. Oh, solo. Then once you get to the end here, we're just going to shallow it out and do a couple of loops just around the tip to cover that piece of wood. And then we're going to go back the other direction, so angle it back down the opposite way, down the entire length of that rod. And then just to keep it clean, grab a pair of scissors and snip it off. And now if you look really close, you can see they overlap each other. Problem is, the ends are still white. And that's where our Sharpie comes in. This is where the magic happens right now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a casualty. All right, so we got our sticks wrapped up and painted black. The next step now is to attach the eye bolts and cut up the chain. So this is the chain that we're looking for. This is handy link chain. It's not too thick and it's got the nice long strands here. And that, that's how it's done. Now Devin and I got a two foot length of chain. We actually only need four links per nunchuck. So we're just gonna use a hacksaw and cut off the fifth link to leave these four intact. So there we go, we got our link of four. We got our four links of chain, and we need to connect them to these eye bolts, but the problem is, they just don't go together very well. <laughs> not so much. Wait a minute, are you eating that? The eye bolts have a little bit of a gap in them, but it's not nearly big enough to get the chain into. We're gonna grab opposite sides and just twist in opposite directions, and that's gonna open up just enough of a gap that we can fit our length of chain into it. And if we bite it with the pliers like this, we can close that gap and just make it a little bit more solid, a little bit more permanent, and booyah. One of our connections is made. Now we just need to do that to the other side. Same thing. These eye bolts are number 210 eye bolts, and for them I'm using a 332 inch bit. We're just gonna use this to drill a pilot hole, so it'll make it easier to screw this in without splitting the wood. You wanna have it a little bit deeper than- A little bit deeper. deeper. You heard it from the master himself. Try to get as close to the center as you can. Just doesn't have to be perfection, just has to be close. We've got our handle made, we've got our hole drilled, we've got our chain and screws connected. Now just put the two together and begin to twist. Now you might need a pair of pliers to help you out because it's gonna start hurting your fingers. But if you just keep twisting, it'll get to the point where the head of that eye bolt rests into the wood, and now that's in there nice and solid. If you wanna go one step further, you could put a little wood glue into the hole, and then that will just help the uh, threads of the screw bite in a little bit better. And just like that, a ninja is born. There's one side done, let's do the other. Make sure your nunchuck handles are the same size. And with that final tweaking, your set of nunchucks are done. Some people call these nunchucks, but they're nunchucks. I haven't seen nunchucks. nunchucks. Now a black handle by itself looks pretty cool, but if you add a splash of color to the tops and the bottoms, you can really dress it up. Now just for fun, we picked up four different rolls of colored electrical tape. So Devin is over here rocking a blue nunchuck. This is actually pretty sweet. So he did blue wraps on the outside with black underneath, and Stuart did red on the inside with black on the outside. So you can see, you can customize these just about any way you can think of. 
Yeah, so the electrical tape also doubles as, wow, that's really tight. <laughs> this cannot be good. All right, now it's time to teach you how to use these things. I'm gonna whip it one side and back the other way, and just back and forth like this. And if you wanna get really fancy, you can start throwing it over your shoulder like this, and grab it with your hand behind the shoulder, like so. So one, two, three, four, and then back and grab it. Now if you want to go one step further, you can whip it around and catch it with the other hand and just keep repeating that process back and forth. And then you can just use a combination of all those things there. It's all in the wrist, guys, all in the wrist. It's all in the hips too. <laughs> Dang, you aren't kidding. So here's the thing you gotta remember guys, these are weapons, they're not toys, and they may be illegal. So you wanna check your local laws. If you make these, they're for decoration only and they gotta stay inside your house. You can't take these outside. They could be considered concealed weapons, so be careful. Now if you'd like to make these at home but you're a little bit nervous about chunks of wood flying around, there is another option that's very simple. Let me show you how they work. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get yourself a piece of pipe insulation foam. These cost about $1.50 from the Home Depot. It's nice and soft and squishy. And then a three quarter inch dowel will fit nicely right into the center. If you reinforce those with a little bit of electrical tape, you can turn your nunchucks into fun chucks. Oh, there's still pieces of wood. Oh, okay. Who do you think would win in a battle to the death? We're not talking just straight out fire. We're talking battle to the death. Leave it in the comments below. So there you have it guys, that's how to turn common materials from the hardware store into a really cool set of nunchucks that you can customize yourself. Huge thanks to Devin Graham and to Stuart Edge for their brilliant ideas, bringing these new fresh designs to the table. They have big YouTube channels. If you're not familiar with these guys, go check out the links in the description and give them some subscription love. Then go make yourself a pair of nunchucks, but have fun, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Talk to you then. Cowabunga! Grant's the best. So I'm going to actually put this in my office.